Hello and welcome. You're watching Thomas's Tower Pitch with myself, Thomas Janak. And today I have a guest, L.A. Cook, and I'm at her house, right? And you can see all the feminine touch that is missing in my place. <laughs> right? This is really all very lovely. And you can see this artwork here is even more stunning. And that is actually all artwork that is done by Ellen Cook herself because we are co uh, collaborating on a card deck that will be sort of uh, maybe sort of the deeper spirit, deeper meaning of spirit animal guides, if that makes sense. Um, so I will provide the, the text um, or the messages for the animals and then uh, LM will, will give all these beautiful artwork things to that deck, if that makes sense. And eventually you will be able to buy all this. And obviously the deck too. Speaking of the deck, there will be a Kickstarter very soon because at this point in time we don't know how, how expensive this is going to be. Um, but it's going to be glorious anyway, so, so there will be a Kickstarter. And, and um, so uh, please subscribe to the channel because then you know when the Kickstarter is happening. It's going to be really awesome. And now today what we're doing here is we're doing the general reading for the month of June 2022 for the sign of Libra. And what we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the month of June. Then we will look into the um, emotional core, for um, Libra's emotional core, to see what can go, uh, what can heal, or maybe there's love coming in, that sort of stuff. Before we then lastly or finally go into opportunities. And opportunities are normally or usually uh, about what uh, sustains you financially. And um, I think let's, let's do that. And then with no further ado, here is the overall energy for the month of June 2022 for the sign of Libra. And the card that fell out of the deck was the Air Spirit card, which is knowledge. Now Libra, you're all about balance. So for you, looking at the knowledge um, situation for the next month, you want to take a balanced approach to everything. You, you need to kind of see both sides of, of, of what's coming towards you. So use your understanding, use, use that sort of approach that you have to increase your knowledge of the, the, the situations that you're facing this month. And make certain you do look at all sides. I won't say both sides because you might find some of them actually have more than two. Um, you're going to have to make considered decisions potentially this month. So use all that knowledge and look at the information that's coming to you from all the possible sources and you can actually synthesize all of that together to reach your your final decisions before you actually have to make those decisions but it's important that you don't act when you're uninformed uh, make certain you know what's going on thank you so much and it becomes apparent that this is more about um libra's analytical side that when it comes to your emotional core you simply have the energy of hope and hope means not necessarily hoping for the best, but hope means I just let it flow. And I trust, so to speak, hope that everything will just flow and everything will work out fine. So with regards to your emotional core, you're not asked to look at something specific to heal. You're also not asked to necessarily um, manifest uh, a new love or do something specific to make the relationship you're in work better if that makes sense but with hope you're asked to also really go into that sense of i made my decision right or i, I know how i feel i i um, acknowledge how i feel and then hope is a bit of a weird term i always find right because hope you know i sometimes hope shit doesn't hit the fan and it does right so i don't so it's not a term that i, I that i find um, encouraging at all but here you are you are asked not to be analytical and let things play out and just trust probably the easier way to this to this to the, you know replace hope if that makes sense but hope also means that um, sometimes because I'm having an, uh, animals here in that, in that picture and while they are awesome and oftentimes can 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 smell and, and see things much better than we can sometimes they just go to places they haven't been before and just hope that there will be food for them, if that makes sense. And it's sort of that hope, that kind of feeling is this, like, whatever happens, happens, I'm going to be fine. And that is really important for Libra, which is interesting because obviously, as you said, you're the sign of balance. And you are governed by, by Venus. And Venus is the only planet that um, 
revolves um, different to anything else, if that makes sense. So um, most planets, uh, well, any other planet, all other planets apart from Venus, um, work anti-clockwise. And anti-clockwise as a movement means that you're taking out what is no longer needed. And while it would make sense for Librans to actually do that, Venus, by default, the planet that wants love above anything and everything, is putting harmony in. Which also means that sometimes, because you want to live harmoniously, you might be a person that lives in hope that situations that are already quite pointless somehow get better. So this is about all these things. The, the um, message here or the information here has not been clarified to me by the guides. So it is as vague as I made it sound, <laughs> if that makes sense, um, which is because you, you ought to just trust. Okay, so, wow, that was long. Wasn't it? <laughs> so now we're looking at the uh, opportunities as they present themselves to you. Librans for the month of June or in the month of June 2022. Okay, so the card that fell out for the opportunities, and bear in mind we're talking about financial things, material things, pretty much here, was the Bear Spirit card, which is all about healing. So what you need to think about here is, what's your financial situation actually like at the moment? Could it use a bit of healing? Do you need to think about what you've been doing with your money, where you've been um, investing, what what sort of um, things you've been spending your money on. Do you need to step back a little bit and take a bit of a break? And also, are there opportunities for you for something else to come in to help to heal your finances uh, and to help to heal your material um, situation? So you might find that you know something comes in on the cards that actually is going to make things a lot better for you um for this month so keep an eye out for those kind of opportunities ways that will actually um heal the situation you're in now and, and i think it's worth emphasizing that by healing it doesn't mean necessarily making you into a millionaire overnight potentially but it might just mean healing the situation you're in so it's it's a better position that you're in and you don't have to worry quite so much about where the money's coming from at the moment you can actually move forward and things will get better. They won't They won't turn brilliant instantly because it doesn't always work like that, unless you've got the lottery numbers, baby, but, <laughs> but they will get better. It's also interesting, thank you. It's also interesting to, to, to remember that because you are Libra and you are sitting in the seventh house and seven as a number is the highest number of protection. So when you spend less money this month or maybe a couple of months just to see um, if you can normalize your finances again, if that makes sense, it brings its own protection by understanding now I get a real sense of where the money is going, if that makes sense. But because the number of protection is a natural number for Libra, um, that denotes that you won't necessarily be miserable just because you're not spending uh, more money than you probably should have in the first place, right? So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me. Okay. And um, yeah, I see you all next month. Bye-bye.